he thinks he's shooting behind the scenes of the uh, the pancake challenge we're about to do, but uh, I've actually ordered two pancake towers. So. Oh no, man. You're so thick. <sighs> you okay? okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> So back by popular demand, we're shooting behind the scenes again with Mr. Beard Meets Food. But this time we're going down to London. Beard is about to take on the Polo 24 hour pancake stack challenge. The pancakes consist of 12 pancakes, cream, berries, sauce, and it all has to be completed within 15 minutes. What Josh doesn't know is I've secretly signed him up to do the, uh, the pancake challenge as well. London, mate, jelly deals, Denny Dyer and all that shit. <laughs> it's 26 degrees today. Beard's in a jumper, a hat, a beard. Does that keep you warm? In winter, this is what this is what you wore last time, the last video. Is it? That was an expensive sweater, man. It cost me like eighty quid. Got to get more than one wear out of it. <laughs> So we arrived in London, and I'm about to break the news to Josh. Yeah, we're here for a, a podcast, but um, I got Josh along to do some behind the scenes stuff, and uh, he thinks he's shooting behind the scenes of the uh, the pancake challenge we're about to do. But uh, I've actually ordered two pancake towers, so... Oh no, man. Hope you skip breakfast this morning. <laughs> so I'm not a big eater by any means. So to find out how we're gonna have to try and do a stack of pancakes that day, slightly overwhelming. Okay. Why are you laying this on me now? It's, it's like a three, no, four pound stack of pancakes. I told him it was three pounds. It's somewhere between four and five pounds. <laughs> it's doable, it's doable. Let's go. To get over there, we had to order an Uber because Mr. Beard refused us to get on the underground. Look out for a Toyota that ends GGU. The bloke is called Lidgin. Interesting name. I like it. Lidgin. Lidgin. Sounds quite. It kind of sounds like. Red bus. People think that folk from Yorkshire are a little bit backwards, that, that kind of reaction to a Red Bull that you just did there. Nothing says Northerner on vacation like a man going, oh, Red Bulls. Oh, look at another Red Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> so we're pinting the fellow later. I'll have a few pints later if you want, yeah. I'm game. At the fellow behind you, look. Maybe not here, no. The sun's out, there's red buses everywhere, and you've got your friendly southerners talking to each other through the car windows. Go straight, mate, but... <laughs> That's the level of uh, friendliness that you get amongst motorists in London. Get off the fucking road, you mug! <laughs> you only slow down for a second. Oh, another red bus. Red bus count. <laughs> Put that on the screen. So Beard made a mistake of booking a hotel far too far away from a food challenge and with the nature of his work that logistically could cause a problem. We should have got a hotel near where we're doing this food challenge just for safety's sake. Oh right, what three kiss? You need to, uh, number two. Well, I've got a spare pair of pants just in case. <laughs> These are some of the things, they're not too glamorous, but some of the things you got to think about when you're a competitive eater. So last week we saw the famous cock when we were down in London with Ben. This week we've got Dirty Dicks. Yeah, fancy uh, Dirty Dicks later, do you? Sounds like my kind of place, yeah. I shower on a regular basis, I want that on record. I think I saw that on Beard's hard drive as well. The... <laughs> <laughs> Get them red buses on the count there, look at them. That must be about One, seven now. One, two, three, four, there's five. Whoa. So what you don't see on camera, because I wasn't quick enough with the record button, is the amount of times that Beard was actually spotted. I think you had two pictures before we even got to Polo 24-7 bar or whatever it was called. All right. Oh, we got Polo bar. We arrive at the place, straight upstairs, and uh, Beard gets into his element, getting set up for this food challenge. Uh, you good? Yeah, I, I messaged me about the pancake thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Table over there, on the left side. Yeah. 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 Ah. I was feeling pretty confident. It's not the biggest food challenge I've ever done. Can't say the same about Josh, though. It would be nice to bring Mrs. Beard along. <laughs> you're, you're a brave man. Sorry, Mrs. Beard. Ever the professional, you start setting up and you can see the tension start building. Beard's in his element now. He's the yeah, uh, man, well, set designer, DP, all in one. This is where the this is where the day's work begins. I met Beard probably three and a half years ago, and he was still using this tripod. There is a, there is no, well, there, there are better tripods. But there are better tripod providers out there. Cost, cost to, uh, cost functionality. If it ain't broke, you don't fix it. It's a good tripod. I was excited to take on the challenge because people have been asking me to do this for ages. It's always all over Instagram. It looks nice, it smelt great. And I, I love sweet stuff, right? I've got a sweet tooth. So I was excited to get into it. I was feeling a bit nervous before the shoot. There's for two reasons. One, I'm not particularly good to eat, and I'm going on to Beer's channel of 1.4 million subscribers. So I had to get a good innings in. You good? Uh, no. 
<laughs> right, today we're at a place called Polo 24 Hour Bar, taking on this ginormous, this is pretty famous, I've seen this tons of times, been asked to do it a lot of times, I feel like it's gonna fall over. If you do it in 15 minutes, you get it on the house, and we're gonna get funky later, you get a, a bottle of Prosecco, right? Exactly. That's what we want. That's pretty good. Josh got strawberries, I got a banoffee, I don't really know why, I just like the, the big banana on top. Yeah? Okay. I'll save the banana. Fruit for afterwards. We started the challenge, I felt like I started pretty strong. I thought Josh was trying to mug me off a little bit yeah, because man. he started pretty quick. This is some yummy stuff. It's messy. Yeah, the mess could be an issue. And we're checking into the hotel later. <laughs> it's tasty, man, it's good. I'm pretty sure I took the lead, maybe? I didn't did tell the lead. <laughs> it looked like he was keeping pace, but he knocked some cream off, you know, down the back, but I think he was trying to make me look bad. Hey, if you're doing all right there, man. Oh. <clears throat> Five left. I'm happy. You don't really well, man. I think probably about seven or eight pancakes in is when it started to really hit home. There's a rule when you're doing food challenges, especially with rookies, that when the elbows hit the table, it's game over, right? They're so thick. How long have we been going? Five minutes. Oh. A lot of time. That is not bad at all. But gosh, this is an achievement for me. I'm ten. I'm ten in. Oh no, I'm not. There's another one. Oh, I'm nine in. <laughs> I'm ten. <laughs> I was holding on to that one half a pancake for probably three or four minutes, just nibbling. Yeah. I really thought Josh could do it, you know, he didn't have too many left, I think two or three pancakes. I really wanted him to finish. As soon as I saw those arms go down, I knew it was game over. Hey, well done, mate. It's not about me, this is about you. I want you to finish this one. <sighs> mate, I think I'm done. Defeated. I'm done. I accepted defeat. I thought it was pretty good innings. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> I accept defeat, kind sir. It's a little bit like the uh, Logan Paul, Floyd Mayweather. The fact that I stuck it in there, made an appearance, that's all I needed, right? Job done. How do you feel? Well, job done by me. <laughs> <laughs> Failed at the job. I feel all right. I feel, I mean, I'm a bit full. I think another half of the pancake and they'd have been sick all over the place. Good job you stopped then. I, I, I really enjoyed it. And it was like, it's a good kind of rookie level. You did really well though, I mean, Entry According level. to the waiter guy, that's, that's not bad. Maybe he's just trying to make you feel better. What's a good tip? <laughs> Yeah. What's that like? Is that a good attempt? Nah, no. No! <laughs> no. <laughs>